Hello, my name is Tabitha Morse and I am a recent graduate of the Dance Science Programme at the University of Chichester. I will be presenting research conducted for my undergraduate dissertation, which investigated how contemporary dance students use psychological skills training techniques during practice and performance. So what do we know about psychological skills training in dance? Dance science is still in its relative infancy in comparison to sports science, so research in this area is pretty sparse. The few published intervention studies we have in dance focus more upon increasing dancers' coping skills as a protective strategy against injury risk. There's a lesser understanding of how we can use these skills in order to enhance the psychological experience of dancers in both practice and when they're performing on stage. Research in dance has established that students do not develop to their full potential without education in psychological skills training. Similarly to what's been found in athletic populations, so this kind of acted as a key rationale um, for undertaking this study with the university students. So this study aimed to identify the extent to which dancers are implementing psychological skills training techniques in both practice and performance. It aimed to ascertain how effectively these skills were being used by both first year and third year dance students and see if there was an indication of whether the use of the skills progressed as they went through their three year training programme. It also aimed to assess dancers' understanding of psychological skills training as a concept. So this was more of a kind of qualitative investigation into um, the concept of psychological skills training in dance. 23 female undergraduate contemporary dance students were recruited for this study, 10 from year one, 13 from year three. They were asked to complete the test of performance strategies. This is a questionnaire that was modified for dancers by Reading and Quested. So items that were talking about being in competition in a sport context, were, um, were substituted with words such as during performance to better suit the dance context. They were also asked to complete a short survey um, which aimed to assess dancers' understanding of psychological skills training um, and investigate whether this was something that they were being exposed to routinely during their training. So it was found that there were various skills which were used by both groups significantly more frequently during performance as opposed to practice. For first years, these were imagery, activation and relaxation, and for third years, this was emotional control, and then again, activation and relaxation. No significant differences were found in the implementation of any of these techniques between first and third year dancers. This was different to what was hypothesised at the beginning of the study. It was expected that third year students would be significantly more advanced in their ability to use psychological skills training um, techniques in both practice and performance. The survey um, demonstrated that dancers recognised the importance of psychological skills training. Um, they were able to understand that this had value within their education, but that this was not something that they um, always received or were taught, um, and it wasn't something that they had much prior instruction in. It's important to note here that the students were recruited from across various different programmes of study. So in the dance department here we have three different dance performance courses and we also have a dance science course so it's quite possible that the dance science students already had prior knowledge and understanding of what was expected of them from answering these questionnaires and it's also possible that the study actually attracted more of these students because of the focus on psychology and the topic areas that they are studying um, as part of their course another really important thing to note as a limiting factor is that the study design is not longitudinal it can only provide an indication of insufficient progress from first to third year because the same group of students were not followed from first to third year. And again, sample size is very small in order to kind of um, improve the statistical power of the, of the findings. We need to be recruiting um, a bigger sample of dancers. Um, future recommendations for study include trialing more psychological skills training interventions in dance and investigating the optimal modes of this delivery of information and the dosage for different uh, dance styles, different age ranges. Um, we also need to consider how effectively dancers are implementing these strategies, as opposed to just investigating the frequency with which they're um, using these skills in order to enhance their experience of practicing and performing.